Hi there, welcome to Digital Adapt Introduction and Understanding. This is going to be the final uh, installment of the LinkedIn portion of Digital Adapt. Uh, so we're going to be looking now at what endorsing and referencing we've been talking about and what exactly it means. So we're going to be taking an example here from someone who is very well connected. Um, someone who has spent a lot of time building their skills and expertise to better portray who they are. Um, now there is a lot of information on the uh, the internet as to what kind of skills and expertise better suit you in LinkedIn and um, why certain terminology just doesn't work, why it's not attractive to employers. Um, here we can look at uh, this per particular person and we see that they have WordPress which is associated with um, the website. We can see that they're they're very well endorsed by uh, 13 individuals and um, that basically just goes to show that if say for instance this person regardless of all their other skills and expertise was actually particularly looking to expand their horizon with respect to um, website development um, you could look at the wordpress endorsements and you can you know it speaks wonders for itself because it's people who have actually gone out of their way to say this person has helped me this person knows what they're talking about um, this person has a good understanding of this area we can see the same thing in teaching and in editing so we know this person is a leader we know this person as an effective communicator but the one thing we don't see here is um, especially on the top list is communication skills so you have to be very careful now there are other ones down here um, like for instance they have teaching up here which has um, 16 endorsements but down here we have teaching adults with three endorsements so you can <clears throat> maybe get a better idea that this person isn't in the higher education uh, they have a history maybe in the uh, the primary or secondary school so um, basically you just have to be careful with your wording and um, you don't want too many different skills and expertise um, like this person has a very good foundation but now that they are at this level they could hone back where they have their um, their most endorsed skills and they could basically um, push those further by working harder at those skills and working for more endorsements as opposed to having 30 or 40 different general endorsements with a handful of people why not have a hundred people endorsing you for one thing in particular um, it just numbers speak uh, wonders in an atmosphere like this so we'll look more at the referencing itself and um, basically how you can you can put up your information um, not just about your past and present education and, and employment but also um, what you've received in life awards recognitions um, a, a, any form of accomplishment and by doing so you can put in say for instance a portfolio or something you've created and you can influence people to look at it remember it maybe these people have graded it in the past and can give you some more insight as to how you did um, what kind of information it portrayed or you could actually inform someone <clears throat> on something that they had no idea about you in particular so um, by basically putting up for instance that you were let's say working at CNN and you did um, news releases for a very short period of time in some kind of internship role that really didn't correlate to anything but it did build you into who you are today as it relates to the other 20 jobs that you went into um, it's important to show what you did in those early stages of your life because you might get that reference or that endorsement with respect to that work that you've been waiting for for 10 or 15 years and maybe it was just never able to be done because something like LinkedIn wasn't around so um, all your information on the screen is portrayed in uh, the generic um, black tone text with soft font um, basically it's it's very easy on the eyes and it reads like a piece of paper um, you're not you're not going to be getting um, bubbles or multiple windows or um, any kind of links or URLs inside of it um, it's very very um, as you would see a resume on paper handed to you that's how LinkedIn has set up your profile page so the exact opposite of uh, anything else available so thank you for watching digital adapt introduction and understanding and we will see you uh, see you shortly in the next video thank you